Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham, aka Scottsy Business. Today I want to talk to you guys about why you only need one good reason that will outweigh all of the excuses to pursue your passion or whatever your next milestone might be. Something that you're trying to do or you want to muster up the courage or the willpower to do, but you're not able to do it because of all these excuses that are weighing you down. Well, I want to preface this with talking about a friend of mine who think two weeks ago, I went through this process with them, right? They said, look, I'm really interested in how you've been able to do everything that you're doing. You know, you're living the life that you want. You're living the dream, so to speak. How can I start doing this? And I said, all you have to do, well, I mean, of the many things I said, all you really have to do is just start. Even if it's as simple as make an Instagram, make a new Instagram account and, and, and just start posting. And the thing is, if you're talking to someone who is very skeptical about starting or, well, well, this is the thing, right? A lot of people, if not the majority have the ideal of pursuing something or doing something, but most are crippled by what will my friends think? What if I waste time? You know, I've already I've already been doing this for so long. I've already been doing this. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to have a sunken cost, which is a fallacy. Um, because if you if you continue doing something that you hate, it's not going to not waste the time. It's going to waste more time, and it's, you're just going to make it worse and worse. Plus, here's the thing: you can do infinitely more when you like what you do. When I hated what I did, I did the bare minimum. I just did enough to get by. And now that I'm doing what I love, yeah, I'll stay up till 3 a.m. last night, finishing up a presentation to do this morning for a meeting. It's worth it because I like what I do and I want to deliver and I want to, I want to have everything that I want to have. See, when I'm pursuing something that is completely under my own control, I have all the responsibility and all the blame. And it's better that way because I can push myself to do more. I can pull back if I want to break. You know, it's just you're so, so empowered as an entrepreneur to screw yourself over or lift yourself up because, you know, as an entrepreneur, you could do nothing or you could do everything. It's trading a nine to five in for a 24 seven hustle. But look, if you love it, it's not that bad. I would rather do 24 hours of loving what I do, but always kind of be working, so to speak, versus like working, dr drearily, low energy, forcing myself to do a task because I'm being compensated because I need the money. There's a huge difference. And you just have to start. And and look, this is what my friend said when I said, just start an Instagram page. He said, yeah, but I don't even have the time to like start doing stuff and da, da, da. I was like, man, if you, if you take a 30 minute bus to work, you've got 30 minutes every single day there and back. You've got a full hour every day. You could start a bus podcast. I don't care what it is. People are making up excuses. I don't have the time. 99% of the time means I don't want to prioritize this with my time. I mean, not that long ago, someone said to me, I don't have the time. And I said, really, how much time a week do you spend watching Netflix? And they said, well, I don't want to have the time. And I was like, if you don't want to have the time, then don't say that you want to, like you want to do this because you don't. You would rather watch Netflix. And look, that's fine. As long as it's really what you want. When you look deep down inside, at the end of the year, when you do a New Year's resolution, does your New Year's resolution say, make more time for Netflix? Or does it say, build this business or pursue this goal or become the world's greatest da, 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 da. like it doesn't matter what you're trying to do as long as you're pursuing it 
like with everything that you've got. Because look, there's someone else who's going to be doing it too. And I mean, the whole one in a million shtick is really just because most people give up or don't even start. I don't think one in a million is the like the only one person out of every million people are allowed to make it. It's that's what the result is because 99% of people will not put in enough effort to try. It's like this analogy with trading. 100% of people who get into trading want to make a lot of money and get rich. 40% quit after their first big loss and you know 30% only last for a couple of years and 20% only last four or five years and out of the 10% or 5% left or whatever, yeah, they get rich because they stick to it and they like doing it. So they have the motivation even when it's going, it's not going well. That's the whole point. Whether or not I'm getting any money for these videos, because I'm not, um, it allows me to have the motivation to do it because I want to do this. So then in one year, in two years, in three years, if I'm making bank off of these videos, great. And if that stops, I mean, I would obviously rather have money than not, but if it stops, I was already doing this for years. It's not a challenge for me to go back to this because this is, this is my baseline. Basically what you have to do is you have to form a life where your baseline is, is the process needed, whether you're rich or poor. So whether I have a million dollars or or I have a thousand dollars, I'll be trying to put out content and, and, and make content and work on getting more clients and building my business. And I'll still be doing all of these things because I like to do them. That's why if you have monetary goals, uh, you'll never feel super fulfilled when you get them because it's like, well, now I have a million dollars. Do I just stop doing everything that I was doing because I hated it and now I'm done? Maybe. Then you lose all the money and then what? But if you love doing it, you're just going to be doing what you're doing. Double down on what got you the success to begin with. And this all comes back to what I was saying was just start. You will have a million excuses. Anyone that you ask, will their brain will just start rapid firing excuses for why they couldn't do something. But once you can find one thing, one big enough reason to just shut those excuses down and just go for it anyways, you're good. And a lot of the beginning struggles is afraid of being judged by your peers, you know, thinking you might not make it sunken cost fallacy. There's a few things, but for the average person, it's, uh, it's really just going to come down to how bad do you really want to do this? And I know there's exceptions for, you know, like you literally cannot do this. You don't have to explain to me or anyone else. Um, but for the people who obviously, like if you're telling me at a party where we're drinking that you don't have time to do your business, you're lying to yourself. You don't have to be at this party, you know, literally while we are having the conversation, you could make an Instagram account for the thing that you want to do. It's it's that quick. It's that easy. Homeless people send Gary V emails. So there's really no excuse. I don't want this to go over 10 minutes. It might have already. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. I think this is crucial. I really just want people to pursue their passions. Just go for it. Just start. And you'll be amazed at what comes of it. Cheers. Cheers.